guys so welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is Bukumi BK Crown so we are going to be checking out this video titled Jesus was a Muslim and his religion was Islam wow let's watch guys first is it excuse me can you go back in the queue please assalamu alaikum sir I'm a Muslim uh, we Muslim call Hazrat Isa Islam and here's a lot of Christian they call Jesus Christ I think it's important for me to request you that could you let the audience know here, including Christian and Muslim, what was the religion of Jesus Christ and what did he taught? Did he taught Islam or was he was Muslim or non-Muslim? Thank you. Thank you. The question was, of course, you heard, what was the religion of Jesus? The religion of Jesus was Islam. The religion of Moses was Islam. The religion of all true prophets of God is Islam. Because with Allah, there is only one religion. He says, Inna dina in the Allah al Islam. Most certainly, the religion acceptable in the sight of Allah is Islam. If you want a religion other than Islam, so Allah will not accept it from you. And you will be of the losers. Anything else other than Islam? So I said, now the religion of Moses was Islam. The religion of Jesus was Islam. The religion of speech by Muhammad was Islam. It was nothing but Islam. And the proof of that is, you ask the Jew. Start with, ask the Jew. In our line relationship, we are very closely related to the religion of Moses, Jesus and Muhammad. Three are related, very close. If Moses was alive with us, and if you asked him, Oh Moses, what is your religion? I do not expect him to say Judaism. Because this word Judaism is not in his Torah, is not in his Talmud, is not in his Mithna, is, is nowhere to be found. In Jewish literature, the word Judaism is not to be found. You see, it's a concocted word, concocted word. But if Moses was alive and if you asked him, what is your religion? He would say that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. A lengthy definition. But one word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. Islam means a religion of total submission to God's will. If Jesus was alive with us today or in his second coming, if you have a chance to meet him, and if we ask him, so, oh Jesus, what is your religion? We do not expect him to say Christianity. Because if he says Christianity, we can ask him, what church you belong to, sir? Are you a Roman Catholic or an Anglican or a Presbyterian or a Lutheran or a Jehovah's Witness? <laughs> silly, silly, you would say. It's a silly thing to ask Jesus. I expect him to say that my religion is a religion of total submission to God's will. Lengthy definition. One word for that in the Arabic language is Islam. This is what he came to teach. But if the people, his followers, they took his religion off the rails, actually Paul, they are all following Paul. They are not following Jesus. If they follow Jesus, they will be Muslims. See, because Jesus was teaching them nothing but Islam. The Father in heaven, worship him. They start worshiping Jesus. See, this is not his teaching. As the Quran tells us, testifies on the day of judgment, Allah will ask him, Oh Jesus, did you tell your people to worship you and your mother besides Allah? They said, Oh my, Allah, oh my Lord, you know I never did any such thing. As long as I was with them, I was a watcher over them to see that they never did any such blasphemy. But after you took me up, you know what they did. So, in ibaduka. So if you punish them, they are your servants. But if you forgive them, you are exalted in might, you are wise, in your wisdom, you can do what you please. But the religion of Jesus was Islam and he was a Muslim. In the garden of Gethsemane, you read in the Bible, that he went there and he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed to God. He made the sujood and prayed to God, said, Oh my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass away from me. But not as I will, but as thou wilt. One word for that, not as I will, but as thou wilt, is a Muslim. I have submitted my will to the will of Allah. Jesus was a Muslim and his religion was Islam. I understand um, Amedida's point of view 
but like the way he said that Jesus can also not claim that he's a Christian the same way he can't claim that he's a Muslim yes it's from God but I, I believe um, they spoke more I don't know if it's true or not but me I think they spoke more of Jesus Christ in Christianity than Islam that's what me I, I just I, I think that's what I think and I understand what he's trying to say because you totally submitting to the will of God that's the meaning of Islam but at the same time prophet of God that God sent into the earth or the prophet that we can see in our generation now that God is using them to do miraculous things on earth through his power through God's power through you know, almighty God power they are submitted to the will of God are you not trying to say that those pastors or no those prophets are you trying to say that they are Muslims that's what I want to say like are you trying to tell us that they are Muslim just imagine a man of God that can perform miracle through the blood of Jesus Christ through God's power that can give prophecy are they not also submitting to the will of God they are submitting to the will of God but they are Christians so we don't expect Jesus to claim a religion yes but it's me I believe it's obvious it's obvious that Jesus is from God yeah like Amerita said that there's only one religion and that religion is Islam so what do you consider Christianity is Christianity a religion or not because that's one thing I want to get again you can't say there's only one religion whereas people um, we have millions of people that are Christians so I really understand this point of view because of the definition of Islam like total submission to the will of God so that's what I want to ask that if Jesus was a Muslim are you saying that the prophets of God let's say in the Bible prophet Elijah or the prophets of God David and the rest the servants of God are you saying that they are also Muslims and are, are we also saying that the prophets in this generation like that is the man men of God that God has anointed with his power to do illness and deliverance and give prophecy are you saying that they are also Muslims that is the question I'm going to ask I'm, I'm going to leave it at that I really enjoyed um I mean, did that point of view is it's kind of right in its own way so this is my suggestion to this video guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one bye